Not much else needs to be said when you mention Lambeau Field. I tell you, this is looking to be a good one between Indianapolis and Green Bay. Now we'll head over to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the start of the game. Guys? Well, cold weather might just play a factor in today's game. Good day, folks. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here from his own goal line. Chris, I have to say I'm excited about this one. We should see both of these teams trying to establish a good balance on offense in this one. Whoever can do that should be able to win this thing. From their own 32-yard line. Single back formation, three wide receivers. Manning doesn't like what he sees. Adai takes the give. He's dropped for a loss. I don't think the offense expected the safety to come up on the ball like that. Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. Indianapolis using an audible. Throws it out. Hawk bats it down. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. He drops back. With a pass. And he catches it. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. Manning changes the play at the line. Gonzalez in motion. Drops back on first down. Short pass to his left. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Harrison gains four yards on that reception. From the 48-yard line, Adai is the single setback. Manning doesn't like what he sees. Clark, the man in motion. Drops back to pass. Short throw to the right. He's there for the catch. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. You know, Chris, the tight end can be used as such a weapon in the passing game. And I always find it surprising that tight ends typically don't get drafted very high. But when you think about the skill set, they have to be able to block like a tackle and catch like a wide receiver. Manning changes the play at the line. Give to the tailback. The defender gets him to the ground. A gain of a yard, if anything, on the run. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Back to pass. With the hard throw out to his left. He tries to spin and he is dropped. He delivered a nice throw on that drop back, completing it for a pretty good game. You know, there aren't many guys who work any harder than this guy, both in the offseason and during the week of practice. He isn't the most physically gifted quarterback I've ever seen, but you can tell the time he puts in in the film room, in the weight room, and he understands the game of football. You've got to think they'll go for the field goal here, but it's fourth and short, so you never know. Yeah, I really couldn't argue with either decision here, but I think at this point in the game, you want to be aggressive. You want to keep trying to put points on the board. I'm going for it right here. And he got plenty of distance on this one. What an excellent kick. I don't know about you, but I was getting ready to question the coach's decision on that one, giving him an opportunity from that distance. But boy, did he ever make that coach look smart there. The kick is away. Taken from the three-yard line. Big hit there to bring him down. Their offense will step onto the field for the first time, hoping to come away with some points on this possession. The Colts line up with a nickelback. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Hit hard at the 29-yard line. Grant picks up about four yards on the play. Single back formation. Drops back. Passes it. Pass is complete. And they get him around the 45-yard line. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. The Packers line up in a goal line formation. 
Sets up the play action. Now he's scrambling. Here's the pass with the catch. Couldn't make the last guy miss. What a play. We've seen this tight end doing such a nice job all day blocking, and now when he gets in the open field, he makes an explosive play. One man in the backfield. Rodgers drops to throw. Gets rid of the ball. He makes a great open field tackle. Strong, accurate throw leads to a pretty good game. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. They'll go with the run once again. He's tackled at the 15. Picked up maybe a foot or two. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. Short throw to the left. Oh, that's just sloppy. Driver was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. They line up in a one-back set. Sets up the play action. Looks for a man open. It's completed. They finally get him, and it looked like he would score, but instead they'll set it up with first and goal. They'll set up inside the five. Ball on the three. Grant, the ball carrier. They tackle him for a loss. What can they do to slow his pursuit down? This guy's really one of the strengths on this defense. Not only is he able to turn the corner and get some pressure on the quarterback, but he's rock solid against the run. He drops back. The pocket is collapsing. And he makes the catch. Touchdown. Well, this offense certainly off to a good start here today. And let's see if they can continue to capitalize on that early touchdown to put them up by three. Here's the point after. It's good. Green Bay is up four. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. Kicks this one deep. Brought down at the 28-yard line. The offense takes the field, hoping to come away with more than just a field goal on this drive. The offense will start at the 28-yard line. Manning lines up under center. They'll line up in single back. Manning adjusts the play at the line. First down, looking to throw. Dumps it out right. Makes the reception. And the defense just ate that one up, Chris. Yeah, you're not going to fool this defense on plays like that very much. At least he got the ball out of there, though. Manning changes the play at the line. The halfback with the carry. Tackled at the 33-yard line. A dive gains about four yards on the play. They line up at the 33. They line up in the I formation. Man in motion. The Colts changing their play at the line. Looks to pass. Rifles it to the right. And they get him at the 44-yard line. You can tell these guys practiced that play quite a bit. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. He'll get the call again. He got deep pleaded. Four-yard gain on the play, and that will bring up second down. The Packers bring in the nickel packing. They'll give it off here. He took a shot at the 46-yard line, and that run gets him the first down. Nice job. In the NFL, if you can run the ball for seven yards and a first down, it just puts so much pressure on the defense because now they have to play the run and they have to play the pass. Manning changes the play at the line. Play action. Rockets it out. 
Woodson bats it away, and the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. They hand it off. He lost yardage on the play. Nothing doing. They stop him for a loss. And I really like the discipline of this defense. You never see these guys trying to do too much. They control their gaps, and that time there was nowhere to go. Manning adjusts the play at the line. Manning drops back. Surveys the field. Harris picks it off. He's dropped at the 18-yard line. Why did he even make that pass? Yeah, Tom, I think he got baited into that throw. He thought the defensive back was going elsewhere. He did a little fake, came back in, made the pick. Just a real heads-up play. He looks to throw on first down. Throws right. There's a flag on the play. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Holding. Offense. And I really didn't see the hold there. Honestly, Tom, there is holding on every single play. I mean, the rule changes now allow for the guys to grab, but you have to keep inside the framework of the defensive player. As long as you do that, it typically doesn't get called. It did there. Brought down about the 25-yard line. It's completed, but not a whole lot of yardage gained on the play. Yeah, this is a defense that just has too much speed for plays like that. You have to loosen them up some with some deep attempts for the short passes underneath the work. Throws it deep to the end zone. And it's knocked down. Martin was the intended receiver, and he can't bring it in. Now they'll face a third and long. Ball on the 26. They line this one up in shotgun. Four wide receivers are split out in the formation. Looks down the field. And he caught it. He gets in for six. That pass just went for six points. What a play. And that's really all about timing right there. When you have a big touchdown pass like that, you know it's perfectly executed and thrown right on time, and that was well done. Point after is good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. He'll return it from the one. And he's drilled. What a hit. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team, throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. The Colts line up with three receivers, the quarterback in the shotgun. Manning doesn't like what he sees. Hands it to the back. And they get him at the 37. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. They line up at the 37. Manning is in the shotgun. He has three receivers split out wide. Looking for a receiver. Catch is made. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Pretty nice throw on that play. And a pretty good catch on the other end, too. That's one of those plays that's quickly becoming one of the staples in this offensive passing attack. Changes the play. Back to throw. Looking for an open man. And it's completed. Steps out at the 45. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up fourth. Blackman is back deep to receive. Gets the punt away. He fields the punt at the 16. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. You can't help but wonder if they'll be able to make it three straight drives, ending with a touchdown. Single back formation. Hands it to the back. And they get him right around the 20-yard line. And the halfback has nowhere to go. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. The Packers go with the I formation. The halfback with the carry. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. Grant gains around three yards on the run. It's third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Drops back, and they're coming after him. 
Defender tips it away. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Punts it, and he got a good one here. Rushing, fields it at the 34. Tackled at the 46-yard line. And that was a nice little punt return there. Wow, I thought he was gone for a second. They did a good job getting to him, at least preventing the touchdown. Of course, they wouldn't have to chase him down like that if they'd have done a better job covering the punt. First down, looking to throw. Throws it short. Brought down right around the 50-yard line. Clark picks up about four yards with the catch. Indianapolis lines up with three receivers, single back formation. Looks right, throw. He's dropped at about the 29-yard line. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did, and when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Manning hands off. He fights forward to about the 29. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. Ouch. You take too many shots like that as a running back, you start peeking around a little bit before you get that football. Indianapolis using an audible. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 26. Gain of three. That'll bring up third down. Third and six coming up. Ball on the 26. They'll come out in the eye. Indianapolis changing their play. Sets up the play action. Throws off his back foot. Drops the easy pick. He threw that one right into cover. Well, you can't just stare down one receiver on a play like that. The defense is going to be all over it. He was lucky he didn't get picked off there. Kick is up, and he got all of this one. And he makes it. And he put that one through nicely. It's a pretty rare kicker that can kick a ball that far with that kind of accuracy. That was just a cannon shot. Excellent kick here. It's fielded at the two. Dropped at the 29-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. Rodgers lines up under center. High formation this time. Drops back. On the run, he throws it. No, he drops it. Driver was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. Second down now with 10 to go. The Packers come out in a single back formation. He throws right. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. And they complete it for a gain of nine on the slant route. Offense comes out needing just a yard for the first. Ball on their own 38. And they'll try and get the first through the air. Pass falls incomplete. He didn't take his time, and he threw that one right into coverage. You know, you bring up a good point, Tom, and it really is sometimes about taking your time. Look there. If it's not there, go to number two. If not there, go to number three. If not there, throw the thing away. He was too quick to read that one. And they make the fair catch. The offense was only able to muster a field goal on their last drive. We'll see what they do with this possession. A die lines up as the single back. Gives it off. Tackle at the 19. A yard, maybe two, on the carry. Second down and eight. Indianapolis goes with the ace set here. Indianapolis using an audible. Play fake. Guns it out. Is there for the catch. Peyton Manning is just the prototypical NFL quarterback. Probably the surest bet week in and week out. A perennial pro bowler. Arguably the best quarterback in the league. Indianapolis changing their play. Manning gives it up the middle. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. A pickup of less than a yard. That brings up second down. 
A dive lines up as the lone back. Three receivers split out wide. Hands it to the back. He's dropped at the 39-yard line. Two-yard pickup. <laughs> that was a big shot right there. You talk about getting your bell rung. That was the Liberty Bell ringing that time. Nickelback is in on this play. Adjustment at the line now. Back to throw. Short throw to the right. Not much room to throw into, and it's intercepted. And the defense just picked up their second interception of the half. Well, they're reading the quarterback's eyes, and any time as a quarterback you look too long in one direction or at one wide receiver, the defense is just going to break on the ball, and they've been taking advantage today. That's a three-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. From the 35-yard line, offset eye formation in the backfield. He drops back, throws on the run. He's tackled about the 27-yard line. Pretty good read on that play to find the open man. And that's an area where he excels. He works his way through his progressions quickly and doesn't hesitate when he sees a receiver break free in coverage. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Chalk up a big gain and a first down for the ball carrier on that one. Big play that time by a talented player. You can tell in those tough, clutch situations, he wants the ball in his hands. Drops back to pass. And they get him at the 19. Grant gains just about a yard with a short completion. That'll make it second down. Green Bay sets up in the eye. Grant gets the call. He's dropped at the 15. Grant gets about four yards on the play. The offense facing another third down here as they line up. The Packers line up in the shotgun. Five wide receivers are split out. Goes through his read. Brings this one in. They bring him down, and it's first and goals. Good pickup by the receiver. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. He gets another carry. They'll get in for the touchdown. Not much chance of keeping them out on that touchdown, Chris. The defense is starting to look a little tired, aren't they? I don't know exactly what happened there, but typically defensively, if you're going to start making plays in this league, you better be flying around, and that was a little lethargic. Kick is up. Up and good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Kicks it off. Taken from the three-yard line. Big hit there to bring him down. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback reacts after throwing an interception on his last drive. Indianapolis lines up with three receivers. Manning doesn't like what he sees. Setting up play action. The pass is away. Comes down with it. Tackled at the 44-yard line. You know, you can say anything you want about Peyton Manning. The great size, the arm strength, all that other stuff. But I think that his study habits, what he knows about defenses, his coolness under pressure and big game situations, all that sets him apart. Throws it out. Makes the catch. He gets knocked out of bounds right around the 44-yard line. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man covering. Yeah, that's a great call, Tom, because when you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can, first of all, figure it out and then get it blocked, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. And they get him at the 39-yard line. Picked up about six yards that time, and that will bring up second down. The Colts come out with three wide receivers. Quarterback in the shotgun. Changes the play. Fumble on the play. Hawk grabs it on the ground. 
and the defense was all over that one. Well, fullbacks are always going to be carrying the football in tough situations, and if they fumble it, it is almost always recovered by the defense. First and ten. Ball on the 42. They line up in an eye. Up the middle. And he's decreated at the 44-yard line. Grant comes away with two yards on the carry. Rodgers lines up in the shotgun formation. Drops back to pass. Passes to his left. Defender gets his hand on him. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Jackson alone in the backfield. On play action, he needs to get rid of it. Rodgers will be sacked. Everything seemed to work exactly how they drew it up on that. I don't think there's any play in football that's prettier than a perfectly executed blitz. If you time out the snap count, if you disguise it, if you don't tip it to the quarterback, you end up with results like that. Big sacks, big plays. Rushing takes it at the 23. What happened to the coverage there, Chris? Oh, come on. They completely lost containment on that guy. I mean, you just can't let that happen. I'll be honest. They were really lucky they didn't give up a touchdown on that one. Drops back on first down. Scans the field. He finds the tight end in open space. He found his tight end for a first down. There's nothing better for a quarterback than to have a big body guy like that that can catch the football. Nice play. One man in the backfield. Manning calls an audible. Toss. He tries to spin, but he's brought down. So a gain of about one. That brings up second down. They line up at the 46. Indianapolis comes to the line with three wide. Another run. He didn't get back to the line. He tries to wriggle away, but he stopped for a loss. But Tom, the offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. Trying to change the play. Back to pass. He's under pressure. Barnett bats it away. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Punts it. He fields the punt at the 16. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. That guy just showed off some pretty good skills on that return. I thought for sure he was taking that one back to the house. You know, anytime you get a guy with that kind of skill level in the open field with a little room to run, good things are going to happen. The defense has him surrounded. Passes to his right. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. Two minutes left in the hand. Rodgers is in the shotgun. Four wide receivers. He's looking to throw. Dumps it out right. And he's knocked out around the 43-yard line. Nice pass and catch on that play that gets them a lot closer. Yep, and that's really just the way they drew that one up. You take what the defense gives, looking to move the ball efficiently downfield with intermediate passes. He throws right. And they get him at the 48-yard line. He puts something extra on that throw, and it'll keep the chains moving. And that's really what it takes sometimes, because defenders are so quick out there. If you don't put a little extra pop on it, they can get there. Fires it out. Drops the sure pick, and it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. The Packers go with the I formation. He's looking to throw. Flips it out short. What a hit! Pretty nice pickup on the pass that time. And that's simply good design and execution on the pattern. They work hard all week in practice to make sure that on game day, they have that timing down perfectly. And they're coming after him. Brought down at the 30. A good amount of yards that time on the pass. And running backs who are good receivers 
are pretty rare. You know, a lot of times those guys, they come out and they're good running the football, but they don't make the kind of plays in the passing game. This guy can clearly do both. The Packers will take their first time out of the half. First and 10. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. Grant on the give. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. That's what you call a great individual effort. There are just some guys in this league that you have to run away from, but the danger in that is you run away from him and he uses his speed to catch you from behind. Another run. Tackled at the 27. The running back picks up six on that place. They'll line it up again on third down. They line up in the shotgun. On the ground with a tailback. He doesn't get back to the line. The defense got the job done on that plus. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Here's the kick. Rushing from the two. Brought down at the 23-yard line. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. First and 10. The Packers bring in the nickel package. They'll throw on first down. No, he drops it. Wayne was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. Second down. Indianapolis comes out with two tight ends. Drops back to pass. Gets it off. There for the catch. What a shot! The Colts will take their second time out of the half. Third and three now. Indianapolis goes with the ace set here. Indianapolis using an audible. He throws on the run. He's dropped around the 45-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Manning is in the shotgun. He has three receivers split out wide. Looks to pass. Short pass. What a brutal hit. Just a short, efficient throw that time. Yeah, a true sign of patience on the offensive side. You let the play develop. You find uh, the open receiver. Maybe he takes a look down the field. It's not there. Just go ahead and take that safe throw. Very dominant first half as we head to the locker rooms. Our score is the Packers 24, the Colts 6. Kicks it off. Williams takes it from the 6. Drop at the 29-yard line. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Rodgers drops back on first down. Throws it short. There for the reception. Knocked out around the 44-yard line. And a great pass by the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. Gives it up the gut. And they get him at about the 47-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. That'll bring up second down. Two yards away here on second down. Grant lines up as the single back. Again, he'll get the call. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Well, they wind up in reverse that time. Good push by the defense. And when the defense gets that kind of penetration, it just disrupts everything for an offense. They have to get that guy blocked. Looks for a man open. Brings it in. Brought down at the 30. How about that pass? There's really no better feeling as an offense, especially for the quarterback position, than to take advantage when the defense is trying to blitz you. They're trying to make you nervous, and you just made them pay. Back to throw. He throws it, and it's caught. 
tackle at about the 17-yard line. Excellent pass by the quarterback on that play. I'm really enjoying watching the timing between this receiver and the quarterback. We're seeing a well-schooled offense now going to work. Drops back. Throws it. Can't hang on. What a play by the defenders. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. They'll come out in the eye. Let's go left. On the ground with a tailback. And they get him around the 15-yard line. Grant gets three yards on the carry. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Three wide receivers set. Little handoff. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. And they get no push for the offensive line. Oh, yeah, they did. They were all moonwalking on that play. They were pushing. They were just pushing and going backwards. It's good. Nice work putting that one right through the upright. Kicks this one deep. He's hammered at the 32-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Manning calls an audible. Drops back. Looks down the field. And it's picked. To the 20. He's tackled at the seven. Nice pick for the safety. You could see the quarterback that time trying to look the safety off, but this safety is simply too smart. He was having none of it and jumped in front to make the interception. They line up at the seven. They come out in a nickel. Back to throw. Throws wild on the run. He's brought down just outside the goal line. They gain five on the play. Hey, no need to force it. He just took what the defense gave him there, found the open man, and picked up a few yards. It's the tailback. Brought down around the one-yard line. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. Third and goal. One yard to the goal line. They put everyone up on the line. Grant on the give. Tackled at the one. Got a couple, but will still be short of the market. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time this defensive line did exactly that. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. He gets his leg into this one. Rushing, fields it at the one. He's hammered at the 29-yard line. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. Ace backfield this time. Back to pass. Short pass to his left. Out of bounds at the 34. Around five yards on the throw that time. Yeah, very safe, simple play, hitting the underneath receiver for a solid game. Indianapolis using an audible. Back to throw. All kinds of pressure. Completed. Brought down with only one man to beat. How about that completion? Boy, did that quarterback stand in there firm that time. He knew the pressure was coming. He knew he was going to get hit. He didn't care. Took advantage for a big play. Manning calls an audible. The Colts motion to the right side. They'll throw on first down. Looking for an open man. It came loose. They get the turnover. Oh. 
the defense came up with that one. Defenses are getting so much better at learning how to strip the football and change the momentum of the game. That's something that's practiced much more today than it was 20 years ago. The offense will start at the 26-yard line. It's first and 10. Drops back on first down. On the run, he throws it. What an open field tackle. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch, I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. Rodgers hands it off straight ahead. He's dropped around the 14-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. From the 14-yard line, the Packers come out in the ace formation. He's looking to throw. Tries for the end zone. It's picked off. How about that defensive play? We hear so much about quarterbacks giving their receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. Much more today than they did 20, 30 years ago. Quarterbacks will throw the thing up for grabs, give their receiver a chance. That time, though, it got burned. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Indianapolis changing their play. Fakes the run. And it's picked off. Inside the 30. To the 20. He's hit hard on the play. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab that interception. You know, this safety is known for his big hits, but that time it was his soft hands that made the difference. First and 10. Ball on the 14. The Packers line up with two tight ends. Grant takes the give. And he's drilled at the 13. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Green Bay lines up in the offset eye this time. Rodgers hands it off. He's tackled at the 10. So a pickup of maybe three. That'll bring up third down. The Packers line up with an offset eye backfield. Back to pass. He's under a heavy rush. Hayden gets the pick. What a big time play. I can't believe he hung on to it. Well, we're going to have to quit using that old cliche about cornerbacks and defensive backs not being able to catch the football. That was some play that time. From the 37-yard line, the Colts come out in the ace formation. Throws out to the right. He's brought down at the 22-yard line. Reggie Wayne has really developed into a big play receiver. I think when he first got in the league, he was a little bit more of the possession guy, but he has a nice release off the line of scrimmage, good moves down the field, and the ability now to really change the game with some big plays. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on the 22. Indianapolis lines up with three receivers in the shotgun formation. Changes the play at the line. Manning back to throw. He needs to make a decision. Tips it away. Gonzalez was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. Dimebacks in for this play. Manning calls an audible. Manning will look to throw. With the pass. Makes the grab. 
It'll be first and goal. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set them up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Short throw to the right. He's dropped at the four. He went to the short man, but the defense was right there to make the play. Yeah, and this is one of those plays that's a lot like a long extended handoff. He gets it out to the receiver and just lets him work on the outside. That time, though, unable to pick up much yardage. Defense closing in. Hart wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. Here we go. Third and goal from the three-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. The Colts changing their play at the line. Dumps it out right. And they get him around the one-yard line. The defense was right there to bring him down just about as soon as he made the catch on that one. Clever play that time defensively. It looked like he was going to be open quickly for the catch and the first down. They closed in, made the tackle, and that brings up fourth down. Here's the kick. Williams from the four. Still working. Dropped at the 32-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time, and it led to an interception. The Packers line up in an I formation. He drops back to pass. He's under pressure. Pass completed. Brought down around the 36-yard line. He was lucky to get that one off. He was under a lot of pressure in the pocket. Good job by the offense that time. Really nothing there down the field. He just takes a little completion and keeps moving the ball. Looking to throw. He passes short. He's dropped at the 40. And he picks up about four. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Rodgers lines up under center. Four receivers in the formation. He throws right. He makes the catch wide open. Knocked out around the 49-yard line. Great pickup for the first on that one. And really what makes NFL football so special is the ability of these quarterbacks to throw it and these great receivers to catch it. That's just fun to watch. Rodgers back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Oh, and he dropped it. Grant was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. So they'll face a second and 10. Ball on the 49. Green Bay goes with the ace set here. Hands it to the back. He's brought down around the 39-yard line. They caught the defense out of position on that run. And this defense may be a little susceptible to that kind of a thing. They're so aggressive running to the football. That time they flowed downhill, got caught on the counter, lucky to contain that one for what it was. Andy catches it. Andy just got hammered. Lee grabs that one for a gain of three on the play. Second and seven. Ball on the 36-yard line. They'll go from the shotgun. Let's go. Keep playing. Come on. Come on. Little hustle. Drops back. He throws left. He's there for the catch. He's dropped at the 30. Good read of the defense on that pass play. Yeah, and throws like that really settle a quarterback down. It's all about getting into the flow of a game, and you can see he's getting comfortable now. Setting up play action. He leaves. It's caught. He's tackled at the 15. Good yardage that time on the pass. And how'd you like that throw by the quarterback? A little touch, a little lob in over the top, like an alley-oop in basketball. He looks to throw on first down. Intercepted. And that was a fantastic interception right there. And the worst part for this quarterback is the game's not over yet. He still has a chance to do even worse. This has been a disaster from the beginning of the game today for this quarterback. And they get him about the 15-yard line. A five-yard pickup for the halfback. 
So, at the end of three, our score is the Packers 30, the Colts 9. They line up at the 16. There are two tight ends in the formation. The quarterback is in the gun. Indianapolis sends a man in motion. Manning takes it back, throws it short. Tackled around the 20-yard line. Pretty nice read on that play to find the open man. Yeah, the two of them really have been working hard, building a rapport in practice, and now you're starting to see some of those results out here on the field. Adjustment at the line now. Looks to pass. Gets the pass off. Pass is complete. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. Not too bad a pass there. Not too bad at all. And sometimes those little touch throws are actually more difficult than the bullet passes. Kind of hard to come up with the timing to hit the receiver right in stride. But that was well thrown. They picked it off. And they get him at the 39-yard line. That's another great play by this defense. Well, I don't know if he could believe that this guy picked him off the first time, so he went back to the well, and uh, he got caught again. From the 39-yard line, Rodgers lines up in the shotgun formation. He drops back to pass, rockets it, with the catch. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. They hook up for a pretty good gain on that one. Nice pass. Yeah, good pass and good confidence by the quarterback there. He saw the opening. He knew there was a spot that he could get that in there. But you could see he had the confidence to let this receiver make a play. And that's really what pro football is all about. Not a huge game, but he got the first down. And that's really the key. There are some backs in this league that just have a feel for that first down marker, almost like they can see that yellow line on the field and know how to get there. Cuts back, and he's dropped. He barely got it past the line of scrimmage that time. And that will bring up second down. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Offset eye formation in the backfield. He's brought down at the 26-yard line. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. Green Bay comes out with two tight ends. Little handoff. Brought down behind the line. What about that play? Well, I always like to see an offense stay aggressive, I guess. But at least in this situation, it's a fourth quarter. You have the lead. I can understand the call. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. Kicks it off. He'll return it from the three. Dropped at the 32-yard line. Quarterback threw a pick on their last drive. Let's see if he's able to shake it off. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Indianapolis changing their play. They'll give it off here. And he's knocked out at the 28-yard line. And that play had no chance. Well, this one's really on the ball carrier. At some point, you have to get turned up the field. Indianapolis using an audible. Short throw to the right. It's completed. He steps out around the 30-yard line. And a long third down try coming up for them now after that stop by the defense. And now we're down to the part of the game that I think decides most games. You make a good play on second down, now you're bringing up a third down situation. Either you keep the drive alive here, or the defense turns it over to the offense. It's picked. And they get him at the 22. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set Great hands, great moves, whatever. But they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. From the 22-yard line, Rodgers steps to the line of scrimmage. 
He has two backs behind him. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He's hammered in the backfield. Solid hit with the safety. He'll drop him for a loss. Well, you know you've got an aggressive safety when he's making tackles for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Typically, these guys are trying to not give up a big play in the passing game. Now, when you see somebody in the backfield, <laughs> that's impressive. Brought down at the 16-yard line. And another connection that goes for good yardage. And we really see the trust that is developing between this receiver and the quarterback. That if the quarterback has confidence that you're going to be where he thinks you're going to be, he will throw it to you more often than he'll throw it to somebody else. Gets the pass away. They'll score. Touchdown. The defense can't keep him out of the end zone. That was his second touchdown of the contest. I really like to watch this receiver work in the end zone. He doesn't lose his patience. He runs the route, he keeps his focus, and he makes plays. He is top in in the red zone. And the point after is good. Green Bay up big. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it. He'll return it from the three. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Two tight ends here. Manning will hand it off. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The running back gains two yards on the carry. They come out with four wideouts. Manning changes the play at the line. He's looking to throw. Passes the ball. He makes a move, and he's brought down. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next, but this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. The Colts put a man in motion to the right. On the ground with a tailback. He's dropped at the 44-yard line. A dive gets about a yard on the play. Man, oh man, that's what those defensive guys live for right there. A shot like that, and then they always get up and have a little something to say to you as you're going back to the huddle. He throws right, makes the reception. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. Short pattern results in a completion for the offense. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. And that one will end up just a bit short of the first. Well, you could see him out there fighting for every inch. He knew where that first down marker was. He just couldn't get there, and it brings up fourth down. They'll give it off here. He's brought down at the 44-yard line. He got him just what they needed on that fourth down. Boy, he sure did. And I don't care what you say about quarterbacks and wide receivers. There comes points in a ball game when you have to have a big guy that can do exactly that. Play action. Short throw to the left. Out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Not much of a game on that play action pass. Green Bay lines up in a dime defense here. Sees something and changes the play. Looks to pass. Throws on the run. And he caught it. He's tackled at the 19. That pass completion puts him over the 2,000-yard mark for the season. And this quarterback's had a ton of support all along by his teammates. It's not that... He hasn't contributed, certainly he has, but this has truly been a team effort this year by this football team. The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really, that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. Manning changes the play at the line. He drops back to pass. Dumps it out right. 
Knocked out of bounds around the three-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. It's tough to pay too much attention to a running back in the passing game because at least half the time they're staying in the block. So when they do slip out, occasionally they can hit you for a big play. It's been a tough day for them, but at least they'll have a few good highlights. Joseph Adai is really becoming a bit of a show when he gets around the end zone. I can remember a few years back, he's jumping over the top of players, big plays in the playoff games, great runner in the open field, and once again, he shows his explosiveness and gets it in the end zone. With less than four minutes to go in the fourth, the score, the Packers 40, the Colts 16. Vinatieri will try to hit this ball just right to get a good bounce for the onside kick. Here's the onside try. And he's drilled. What a hit. The way things have gone for them today, you almost knew they wouldn't come away with the onside recovery. It's been a rough game for them for sure. At this point, you got to think they're probably just going to be glad this one's over. He looks to throw on first down. Catches me. Tackle at the 30. Jennings picks up about four yards with the catch. It's second and six coming up. Ball on the 30-yard line. Ace backfield this time. Grant on the run. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Almost got a yard. And, Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal game. He's dropped around the 26-yard line. Got a couple, but will still be short of the marker. Yeah, and for a minute, it looked like he might slip out of there, but uh, the defense got there. The pursuit was all over it and they made a nice stop. That was a great kick from that distance. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. Kicks it off. Drop at the 31. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you and our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. The Colts changing their play at the line. He's looking to throw. And he's out around the 33-yard line. Not much of a gain at all on that completion. What happened on that one? Well, I think the offense really just trying to make a safe throw rather than taking a big chance and throwing it down the field. You get the ball in the hands of your receiver and let him try and make a play. That time, nothing there. Drops back to pass. Throws it. And it's completed. That's now 300 yards passing for the quarterback. Well, he's certainly done his part, but the rest of the team's going to have to step things up a notch or two. Changing the play. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. He throws on the run. Tipped ball, intercepted. He's brought down at the 49-yard line. Good job on defense to be right there for the interception. Seems like the defensive coordinator called the perfect play. And there's no question they were sitting on that one. That is one of the bread and butter pass plays of this offense. They've been working against it all week. And that was a special little trick there that came up with the interception. That's a three-yard game. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. They tackle him for a loss. That defensive lineman just seems to have a knack for finding the ball carrier. You know, listen, I, I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, I, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in their way. That play was stuffed from the get-go. And it's not very often that I get really excited about defensive line play, but that time the guys up front on defense were just overpowering. Kicks it away, and it's a huge punt. 
into the end zone for a touchdown. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Go, go, go. Go, they motion to the right. Anderson, Anderson. He's looking to throw. Goes through his read. Is there for the catch. And that pass was moving. Yeah, and it's not that quarterbacks without strong arms can't make it in this league. But boy, it sure is an asset to have a guy with a cannon like that. Looks to pass. Throws the bullet across the middle. Huge hit. And he's crossed the century mark in receiving yards. This has been one heck of a performance. And Tom, I don't think he's finished yet. This is a guy that is on a roll right now, and this defense really doesn't have an answer for him. Into traffic, and it's picked off. To the 20, to the 10. It's in for the touchdown. Great catch by the linebacker. Not a smart throw from the quarterback. You know, it's hard to believe that you can lose a guy that big, but sometimes those linebackers dropping underneath in coverage, quarterbacks just don't see him, and he threw it right to him. It's good. Green Bay up by a big margin. A little over a minute in the game. Here's the kick. He'll take it from the two. Drop at the 27-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. One man backfield. Drops back to pass. Huge pressure by the defense. Brought down at the 40. And a big catch by the tight end. And I can tell you this, there's nothing that defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. Strong throw. Brings this one in. He's pushed out at about the 49-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. I always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies, you know? Just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. Drops back. Strong throw to his right. Picked off, and that should do it. He's brought down at the 32-yard line. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Might want to start thinking about trying to pick on that guy. We've seen all day he has simply been quicker to the spot than the wide receivers coming into his area. Play fake. Short throw to the right. And he's knocked out right around the 30-yard line. Short completion there. It doesn't give them much in terms of yardage that time. Well, the defense forced them to make the quick read and throw on that one. The catch was made, but there wasn't much yardage to go along with it. It's up to the receiver to make something happen on a play like that. Four-yard gain by the back. So it's third down now. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. He's tackled right around the 20-yard line. And that's a pretty nice run there. Especially for a fullback. Usually you think of a fullback as a one or a two or a three-yard gain. He starts popping them in there for runs like that. He starts wanting to play halfback. Here's the give. It'll be first and goal. This running back just showed off some nice ability there. Yeah, the offensive line did their job. They created enough of a seam to get him up into the secondary, and then he was able to explode from there. This one will finally be over. Our score, the Packers 50, the Colts 16.